If she farted in front of me, I swear, Dan, it's, it could be over. Like, yeah. Romantically. And I, then there's I, women I, that come around and go, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah. And far was across his neck and he's like, help me out. You Not the picture say. I was after, to be fair. <laughs> oh, you're out. <laughs> 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 he went, you're it's out so of all funny. that. You've only talked to me because of her. Yeah. I went, oh. Hello and welcome to The Therapy Crouch with me, Abby Clancy. And me, Peter Crouch. Uh, two very special guests today. Mr. Rio and Kate Ferdinand. <laughs> <laughs> all good? How you doing? You all right? Yeah, good, good, nice good. Nice to be here. I know. We've got no furniture, so please don't judge us. <laughs> you, right. you know, you might have heard that I've got a new floor and uh, bringing my old furniture back in that I don't <laughs> want has been very difficult, so sorry. Apologies. You're apologising for our house. Wow. Apologising for having no yeah. furniture and the dog's just weed uh, on the rug. No furniture? You've got so much it's stacked up over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure, the horses that I didn't want. But yeah, listen, we go we go way back, right? We've yeah. played against each other for a long, long time. But I think the first time we met was probably <laughs> Portugal, wasn't it? I think we... No, we've met a, a few times. Lunch. Yeah, no, no, you used to know each other probably has it before, have you? Me and Kate, yeah. Yeah. We met a few times. But so that, as a family. As a family. Yeah. Yes. What a day that was. And that was a good day. <laughs> wow. Well, she, you just said to me that we're not going out ever again because we did a... <laughs> well, the hangover was too big. <laughs> full session of drinking sangria for hours on the beach. It was a lovely day, though. It was a good yeah. day. I had a good time at that, I've got to be honest, yeah. Uh, the next day morning was horrendous. <laughs> it you, was no, just no, like... the worst part was, the funniest <laughs> oh. part was... No, no, let me, so, ah. let, let me just explain this. So I don't really drink that much in the day, especially around the kids. We were just... The drinks were flowing, we're having mm. so much fun. The kids have never really seen me drunk. Let me tell you, they saw me drunk that day. I was sick on the way home after leaving you. No, and really? And I fell car. asleep with McDonald's all over me. I Lovely. woke up covered in McDonald's. No, where did you wake up? That's the most On the important. bathroom floor. Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> really? Hugging, hugging, hugging the toilet, hugging the wow, toilet. Wow, that's an afternoon out with the crouches. <laughs> <laughs> I said, we well, can't go out with them again. <laughs> Don't know what oh. happened. Wonder why I hadn't seen you for a while. <laughs> <laughs> My kids love me when I'm, I've had a few drinks. They think, they go, mum, you're so much fun when you... So much fun. <laughs> so I'm normally shouting at them normally. But listen, no, obviously, Rhi, we go way back with the football and things like yeah. that. But you, you Kate, obviously you started on uh, reality TV, right? Where, that's probably when you first became prominence in the kind of public eye. How did that all come about? I, I try to try and forget these times. It feels like such a long oh, time really? ago. Um, yeah, well, my ex was on the show right. and I ended up going on. And, well... It was just a bit turbulent, to be honest, because I was mm. having like a full breakup on the show, um, oh, right. which I suppose I was a bit fiery at times. And then then I met you, really. Mm. And everything changed, didn't uh, it? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's similar to us. I, I started on Britain's Next Top Model. Mm. So I was on that before I met Pete. Really? So it's kind of a similar... Did you watch it and go, that's, that's a... No, <laughs> no, we met we met I... before. Oh. I've watched a lot of those model programs and said they so. <laughs> <laughs> and never got near them. Don't feel like I have a sniff. No, no. <laughs> Shut your mouth right now. Well, Are you just like acting hard? Because no, you're not really. No. Like, yeah. I, I, I don't normally watch model programs. That's what I'm saying. I didn't watch it and go, I, I, I don't I didn't regularly tune into Britain's Next Top Model. I tuned in because you were on it. Oh, we mm. met beforehand. Mm. Yeah, so I, went, was I was, went on Britain's Next Top Model and I was there for like eight weeks. They cut all my hair off. I put like a stone on because I was eating like flapjacks on set like all day. And it got home and my mum was like, Jesus Christ, what the hell's happened to you? And then Pete calls me and is like, do you want to come to Portugal with the England team? And I had like a bag full of dirty clothes that I'd had on a TV show. And then Pete's like, you know, do you want to come away with Victoria Beckham and everyone? And I was like, was no. Was then? Yeah. You must have been. Yeah, you remember Portugal, but we trained there before the 2006 World Cup. We all went to like Val de Lobo or something. I think we, uh, we just trained for like a week. Four round, a few dinners out. Two thousand and seven. Remember a dinner out? We had yeah, quite yeah a funny on the dinner. on the on the uh, terrace type yeah. thing. Yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. We were there a week. You were loud, weren't you? I can remember. Was that. I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm loud now. I was probably quiet as a mouse there. When you met, were you still playing? I no. finished. I was retired. I've been retired. Oh. I don't know, a couple of years, a year. I, so. I didn't know you then, babe. Yeah, she doesn't know anything about football. Oh, really? No, I'm not interested at all. Like, no, no, I do. I just didn't live with my dad, just live with me and my mum. So we didn't even, you mm. know, you had to pay more for like the sport channels. <laughs> yeah. We didn't have that package. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. you read the paper, but yeah. I wasn't really into it. So yeah. no, how we, we met, we met in Dubai. I was there with the kids and my mum and my sister and um, me and my, and my mate and his kids, Jamie, you know Jamie? Mm. So we went out for, um, me and Jamie organised a business meeting on a family holiday to get a couple of hours away. 
as you do. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so we was on business the beach. Meeting. Yeah. 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 Like a business meeting. Yeah. Mm. So we was on the beach just chilling, having a couple of beers. And I just saw this girl devouring a burger. It was unbelievable. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. And I just thought, whoa, that's a bit of me. <laughs> <laughs> and I could see her, and, I, from, and I'm saying, she was probably, I've got good eyesight, it was about 30, 40 yards away, and I was thinking, mm. I see her walk up and down, and the maddest thing is fate, because a, a guy that I'd been on a flight with to LA about six months before, with Anton on his stag do, mm. I'd, I'd spent the whole flight at this geezer at the bar on the flight. And I saw him and I went, I know him. I've been on a flight with him. And he walked over to her and started chatting to her and her mate. And I went, he knows her. <laughs> right. And I went, I'd never even said hello to this geezer, right? If I, if I didn't see if that connection weren't there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't have. He knows, he knows, right? Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so I went, oh, I went, oh, what's, oh, what's happening? You are. And he came How over. Have you been? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I've seen you here. That's so, so nice. Please, so he went, he come over. And uh, I swear to you, it was probably about 30 seconds. I went, how are you doing? You right, blah, blah. He went, yeah, we are. Well. I said, do you know that girl over there? And he went, oh, you're out. Ah, of yeah. <laughs> he went, you're so out. Of You've only talked to me because of her. Yeah. I went, all right, you, you've got me. Like, Who is she? And he went, no, nah, you're a footballer. She won't get out of you. No. And I went, come on, man, just introduce me. So right, if you stick around later, I'll do it and introduce you. She knows my missus. And that was it. I stuck around. And here we are today. Oh. <laughs> what were those early days like? Even that first day was so funny. We spoke about this, but mm. we saw him and my friend told me, obviously, like, Rio's over there, he's going to come over. But you didn't come over for, like, five hours. I was waiting so, for my sister to come so, and turn up. I was going to walk up on my own, do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so I just thought he's gone, like, the night, we we're well into the night now, and then you come over with your pockets filled of beers, your own beers, and I, I had thought, combat shorts on. <laughs> All the rage back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and All I, the rage. I had, like, a beer in that one, a beer in that one, and a couple of beers in my hand, and I just walked over. All right? <laughs> that's what wow. it was. That's what it was. The, what was she chatter blind? I didn't have a line, I don't think. Did I don't I? remember. No. I got knocked back by the DJ though. She was oh, the man. music weren't really what I liked, and I was going like, she was going, the music's rubbish in here as well. And I said, Do you know, what? I'll get it changed. I sort it out. <laughs> it, Billy Big Bollocks. And then yeah. I walked I'll over there, and the geezer went, uh, I went, can you put a bit of, I don't know, Drake or something on that? Like, can we get, get the party going a little bit, mate? Come on. <laughs> yeah. And he went, um, I'm a City fan. Uh, and, I uh, just went, yeah. and I don't like that type of music. I went, all right. <laughs> just no, off. But I told him he could have my number if he got Drake oh, yeah, on. I forgot him. Oh, right, <laughs> he come no back. That is yeah. so funny. And Drake was not on. Yeah. <laughs> Drake was I not on. I didn't say that. I went, he'll be on in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just never told her. It's the first time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a number. When we first met, we met in a bar in Liverpool. <clears throat> and then Pete asked me for my number. And then I went to Lou and come out. And he was talking to another girl. And I was like, are you messing? I was like, give oh, me my number back now. Delete it. And he was like, I've just scored my first goal for Liverpool. Like, everyone's just congratulating me and trying to say, I was like, no, I was like, like, we're in a bar. Like, you know what I mean? I'd like, you can't only chat to people of the same sex. <laughs> you can. You can. No. You absolutely you can. <laughs> you will. Yeah. <laughs> it was just a normal conversation. That was all it was. She came over, she's like, give my number back. I was like, well, I should have known then. It's a bad start. <laughs> it? Red flag. <laughs> I, I should have known then. But so you've done like a few kind of documentaries together, that kind of thing. Obviously, you know, being quite open and honest, but mm. I see you as kind of like very private people though. So that decision to do that must have been very hard to kind of take. Yeah, I think the first one definitely was mm. because it was more, I'd done it selfishly to help me and the kids, mm. but then to help other people, to mm. show them what in, a bit of a look inside into what that type of life can be like if you lose someone how it mm. affects kids. And then I needed help. Like, I, I went, I'm not an open, like, you know, I'm not really an open book. Mm. And especially emotionally. So mm. I had to kind of, I would never have gone and seen a therapist without the pressure of having a documentary being filmed. Mm. I would have just said, no, nah, I'm not doing it because that's just the way I was. And then it was a, a, a continuation. Obviously, meeting Kate and that whole dynamic and it changes loads in the house and stuff like that. You've mm. got to imagine I'm in a house with my wife before and then someone else comes in, mm. there's a lot of things that go on there. Do you know what I mean? And so to document that and to, again, help us, also help other people was a big thing, wasn't it? Mm. For it. Mm. But it was hard. It was it? hard. It was difficult. Yeah, mm. it was a slog, wasn't it? Yeah. But it was good at the end of it. And I think yeah. it's hard to be really open. Sometimes we think, listen, we'd love to be open and show our kids. But then everything they've been through, mm. yeah, it's kind of like a bit of a tricky one. Mm. Mm. So we want to show a bit of our family life and things like that, but... 
The kids are desperate for it. They beg us. Mm. Come oh. on. Can we have open Instagram? Imagine please, how many please. birds I'll get, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> the DMs will be flying, Dad. Come on. <laughs> but you, you've obviously been very quite, quite private with the kids and stuff. What is the reason behind that? Is that just because you don't want people, you know, getting mm. involved with them? Or I think maybe because number one, they've been for a lot. Mm. And... I think we all make big mistakes as kids mm. and do yeah. mad stuff. Yeah. And we kind of didn't want them doing that in the public. Like yeah. give them a chance to just be young and make mistakes and like yeah. not get judged off of it. Mm. Try and be as normal as possible still. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Because yeah. like if you get, and you get into the public eye, I think a lot of us would go, do you know, I'd love to just dim the lights a little bit and yeah. just be able to just mm. make the same mistakes as Joe Bloggs over there. But yeah. we unfortunately can't now. And the kids to keep that innocence for as long as possible... Mm. I think, and, and I'd never want him to come back to us at, at 24, 25 and go, you know what, I wish you wouldn't have put us on TV or yeah. in, in the public eye because it's ruined me a little bit, Dad. Or, mm. or okay, it, it, that'd kill me. Mm. Mm. But Lorenz is now 17 yeah. and he's got an open Instagram. and Straight he... away. As soon as he could. (laughs) And the other kids are fuming. They are fuming because he is loving life. (laughs) Didn't Lib Lib set up a TikTok on your phone (laughs) and was like posting all? all Yeah, I I didn't realise what she had set one up but it was like because we don't let them have it, it and they have like phones account. that they can play on but Pete had one set up for something. I had one she goes I'm just looking at videos dad so it was my TikTok but it was obviously not like for anyone to see. Is it a burner account? One of those? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why the fuck did you have a fucking TikTok? Whoa. Research, babe. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> and, um, anyway, oh. she started, and I looked and she had like 10,000 followers, right? <laughs> I, within Whoa. like a day, two days, and I was like, what's going on here? And like Jack she was like, Whitehall so was following to my her. Channel. Uh, yeah, like, it, was like, it was my name, but wow. like she was posting little videos of herself and we didn't know? not knowing. I what's, had no idea. What's your, um, you know, when you go onto your dis, like search, what's your, um, like, what comes up with the algorithm? What's the algorithm sending you? My, you al- find, no, my alg- algorithms, like girls in bikinis, <laughs> houses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. what's yeah. your scratch on TikTok? It's, uh, no, it's, 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 <laughs> I don't want to start a domestic. It, 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 <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> it's all, it's all kid stuff. Yeah. I literally don't Whoa. want it. Okay. Slime videos. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> we didn't do anything together in the public eye for... Yeah, ten yeah. years at least. What's changed? What's changed then? It's like when you're a footballer, right? You're taught to be so guarded, so you know, nothing. Anything outside of football, football, football is seen as a distraction. Mm. Mm. So, you know, everyone kind of says to you, like all their managers are like, if you start doing things as a couple or anything outside. I remember what Alex Ferguson would be like if yeah. me and Nab are doing a podcast and yeah. you're playing for Man United. No, not happening. It's not happening, is it? No. So I was like really, really guarded with what I did with Abby. And then now, you know, just careless. You know, we're both busy and got all the kids. And as we were saying before, like when you go on a holiday, it's like a tag team, one's with the baby in the room, da da da. And just living our life, doing our work and kind of not talking about all the old times we've had and everything. And now we come on this and go, oh, do you remember when we did that 10 years ago and this? And it's it's been really good, hasn't it? Because yeah. you don't sit down and talk for hours with like. Mm. Because we're so boyfriend. busy, you don't get to, to, to really kind of... You don't sit down yeah, like... Yeah, we'd yeah. never come in this room to sit and talk. You know, we just don't have enough time to do that. Mm. So this is actually, in some ways... This is your therapy. Yeah. Yeah. That's been a bit like that. When you're doing that, uh, the documentary and stuff like that, like, did you have, have you had other couples come and, like... Because a, a lot of the time you feel like you're on your own. Like, you go, oh, God, this is, this is happening to us, or you're going through it yourself. Mm. Like, did you have other people reach out and go, oh, we're not alone. There's so many other people reached out and, and realised that we've helped them. Mm. Yeah, that one. Loads, loads, yeah, loads. Yeah, yeah. It, it was mad. We didn't do it for that either. You know, you don't. You yeah. do it because you, you have your own reasons. But it ain't really to. What, it's not for like for when you're walking down Sainsbury's in aisle four, mm. and Beryl comes over and says, "Oh, yeah. what an unbelievable document." You don't. You don't do it for that. Yeah. I've had like grown men crying, like listen, tearing up in Tesco's, mm. like crying, going, "Listen, man, you, I, I never spoke about that. Like, I've been through this, that, or the other." Mm. And just thanks for doing that because it actually it feels like actually someone else is going through it because most people probably are quite alone yeah. and don't have the network that we might have fortunately for mm. ourselves. But so you could you understand why someone feels alone? But it has been rewarded in that sense that you've helped so many people. Mm. We always even now get people come up, don't we? Yes, yeah, mad. We're, even with this though, like obviously we see it as me and Abby just having a laugh, and we have so many amazing comments about like people going through really, really dark experiences or dark times, mm. putting this on and kind of escaping and going, oh, it's, it's really helping. Mm. And like all we're doing is having a laugh, but people are, it's resonating with people, and that yeah. is makes it kind of worthwhile. Don't it? 
Because yeah, it's relative but, to people, isn't it? Everyone. And also, I think you look in and you think everything's perfect. Mm. So to see you two having a bit of banter and a bit mm. of bicker, it's funny. Because mm. everyone goes through it, but no one really talks about no. it. When we've had to do podcasts together when we're actually not speaking, Ooh. that's... That's that tough. Happens, yeah. Did you, how long do you go? How long would you go for, like, for not speaking for with it? She can't not speak for like ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like um, keeping an argument going. I would want to just sit down and go, okay, because that the thing that we do on here, weekly wine, and we'll just say, you made me feel this way, or you did that, I didn't like it, and then you'll have your comeback or whatever, and then we. So what we do on here, right? I, I just seen you give Kate a look there, right? So the eye, I got the eye there, didn't like, I? Bit of stubbornness. Or, like when, when you have an argument. Go Who's on, most on, stubborn? Go on then. I think we... Go on then. <laughs> <laughs> this is a safe space for couples to get their oh, stuff off there. I'm not going to get a lift home. Uh, um, I think you're most stubborn. We're both extremely stubborn. We mm. could go a long time. Oh, really? Oh, God. I, I think that's the worst trait yeah. to have that. Yeah. I'm softer than you. Would you say? Like, I... He would, won't even look at me. Would you, would you <laughs> carry them on for like, not more than like a day, surely two days? No, I have the feeling in me, it, I can feel it burning and raging, but I want it to go away. But then, <laughs> what, but do nothing to sort it? <laughs> so the big, but, then, but then she is like the 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 prodder, mm. and mm. she will not be able to walk past or continue the day. Without a dig. As soon as the kids go out of bed or whatever, right. Let's and have then, it. Yeah, then, <laughs> the gloves are off. <laughs> I think that's normal though. Yeah. yeah, but it's good. I think it's good that you talk about it. Like the, the worst ones, if you just don't ignore yeah, each other, yeah, yeah, no. you know, if you go out. That's or... what they're saying that they do. No, you're no, saying no, you talk about it. No? Like it would go like for a, for. A, go on, you. What do you? You're better explaining. You stuff like you this. would go without talking about it and just yeah. ignore each other. Whereas yeah. I really want to get to the bottom of it and clear it. Yeah, mm. I'd ignore her. Yeah. Right. Sorry, I, I would. That. Yeah, do you know yeah. what Pete does? I kind of do that. So if, if we go to bed, not speaking, Pete puts pajamas on. <laughs> Is that how you know you better run? No, it's a punishment. I'm like, it's like, <laughs> you're not getting this. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You can't get close to this. She's exactly like, that. Do like, you think that's a fucking punishment? <laughs> I'm delighted. I'm like that. Oh, yes. God, that's fucking it. Pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, I actually call them the punishment pajamas because oh. it's like, I'm not allowed to see his naked body because oh, punishment. No, I'm putting this all away. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. The really way you do done that. it this time. <laughs> and he slams. He slams. He loves the door slam. Which yeah. have you ever slammed a door that hard that it gets jammed the other way? Yeah, that's not. And good then that. I've been like stuck in a room because. <laughs> <laughs> but don't make me out like as if I'm like this fruit I didn't lunatic. See this in you. Right? Yeah, but you know what? Oh, no one can push buttons like yeah. like her, like it's your missus, right? No, so, when you when you slam the door and lock you, me you in the push kitchen, me to the point it's because where... we were having a barbecue. I sent him to the butchers. He came back with four sausages. There was twenty people, <laughs> four sausages, like three burgers. I'm like, Pete, we've got four kids, like uh, uh, just for us. And there was like all of so. What happened there then? So I don't like sausages. The door. <laughs> 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 Loads of burgers. I'll have one of them. One of them. Uh, so I, I he slammed the... the door. Uh, me and Chloe were stuck in the kitchen and he went back to the butchers and bought the entire shop. It's like seven million sausages. Like It was like a yeah, 10 year old, yeah, yeah. like, I'll show that. you, I'll show you. Yeah. Got enough sausages now, have we? <laughs> <laughs> you don't say sorry, though. I'm, I am the one who says sorry all yeah. the time. Mm. Yeah. Do you think men have that ability yeah. to change it round if you're annoyed at them? Gaslighting. We, yeah. we use that word oh, a lot, don't we? Oh, that word come out again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jesus. No, Where's that word come from? Yeah, oh, no, well, I like that. to use it a lot in our house. What, yeah. what does it mean? Exactly. Can you explain what it means, please? <laughs> it's when they then turn it on you, Yeah. basically. They yeah. make you think that it's you. Yeah, I'll really have a cup on with him and then by, by like 7pm, I'm apologising for something. <laughs> I'm like... What have I done? That's what do gas lighters do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever have that one where you go, where you go, um, you've not even apologised and you go, okay, well, sorry. She goes, we don't you mean don't... it. <laughs> Hold on, I've just said sorry. You asked us sorry, I said <laughs> it. No, you go, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way you said it though. Oh, all right. Who's the boss in your house? Kate's the boss. For You're certain boss, things. For yeah. certain things. Mm. I think it's Debatable. Sh- what, go on then. What, I would probably say I'm the boss constantly. You don't know what's going on in the house. Yeah, but when the big decisions get made, I'll make them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what no he thinks. Way. Really? So like a CEO and you're like a brother of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. the brother, oh, exactly. You did a day yeah, to <laughs> Have you got any idea what goes on in here, in this house? Like logistically? Uh, not logistically. Like when I, Ab says it all the time about me, like when I go out or I'll work or something, I'll just go work. 
See ya. See you later. She just walks out the door. Whereas Ab will go, she has to organise, you know, a lot of stuff, a lot of organisation. So yeah. before I go to work, I'm like, is is the food shop done? Who's picking the kids up from school? Is it the bags laid out for the next day? Did everything. And he just walks out and, you know. Yeah, I'm not like across the day-to-day running of it yeah, all. Same here. But I'd but, done that once, didn't I? I just left you. I felt like he wasn't appreciating everything I was doing. And I, I said, I want to do that, but I'm too scared. <laughs> so I said, I'm just going to leave you to it. You've got to figure it out yourself. Do you remember that one? It was a bad My day. friend. <laughs> it was a bad day. I bet it was. <laughs> My friend, is, she's got three kids and a husband and she just booked a holiday and left and just turned the phone off. Um, no, not happening. <laughs> Jason was like devastated, like when I was like, "I'm so sorry, I'll appreciate you, but I, I, I'd be too. I don't think you'd ever forgive me." The if real I did wife that. don't do that, Abby. <laughs> I don't know. The real wife don't do that. I, I, I don't think I could walk out, me, just because I think this, the coming back's so difficult, isn't it? That conversation that's going to make back. that much harder. I think. Mm. Mm. But sometimes, I, I mean, we've had it. We on a on a plane uh, where uh, the, you know when the baby's just not stop crying. Mm. And you can tell that they were at the end of this family in front of us. She just went, mm. will you fucking shut up no on the way. plane? You do lose your, your tether, don't you? With like, Especially when you're little ones. Yeah, yeah. Like you got a little one at the moment, right? Not sure I can get back into the baby scene. Oh, I, I would. <laughs> would, you? would you? Yeah. Would you? Oh, no more. We, we can't. We cannot have any more. <laughs> this <laughs> one's almost finished us off. <laughs> oh, really? Oh. Because we've Tough. got five kids, that's a yeah. lot, of, and it's the different ages, mm. seventeen to seven months. Different problems. Yeah, yeah. but um, the baby are the big ones good with the baby? really yeah. good. But I think teenagers come with their own set of like, mm. you know, things that you need to. I always say the babies kind of wear you out in the day, but you don't have sleepless nights about the babies. You have sleepless nights about the teenagers, like yeah. worrying about them, what they're doing. Um, but yeah. Shay's been, she's a good baby, she, just yeah. her right, but. Still, it's the sleep deprivation. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's you know what I mean? the one. Look, that's what I'm talking about with the with that flight. You know, like oh, you can tell she's obviously like no sleep. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it's the final straw is this crying on the plane like nonstop, mm. and you can see she's just blowing her lid. And that's what I'm saying when people just get, book a flight. Like, yeah. I just, like, for my own my own mental sanity. I, I need to do that. something. Like we we sometimes when we're in bed, especially when the baby was just before she had a routine of sleeping, and it, it can really alter your day. Because that night, you're in bed and I'm sitting there going, I've been up four times, you've been up once. How dare you? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Do you, do you have the yeah, fight who's that. the most tired? Yeah. 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 Regularly. If, 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 she, if I come night. downstairs and I go, how was you sleep? Do you sleep all right? And she I'm goes, exhausted. nah, I've had a bad sleep. And I go, same here. Oh yeah, I bet you didn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm telling the truth. When but he yawns, yeah. it pisses me off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's when I breathe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have that one about breathing. <laughs> yeah, because you breathe like fucking Darth Vader. <laughs> polyps. Yeah, got, got, <laughs> polyps. Yeah, I've got polyps, yeah. What's that? It's basically like a bunch of grapes in your nose. That's so what like, he sounds like. Can you like, hear I sound like I'm underwater. <laughs> oh, yeah, I get it yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah, I get it now. <laughs> you were wondering. Yeah, yeah. And it's like easily fixable? Like he's been to the... I've d- had two operations. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, and then he come back. But he takes the medication for one day and goes, oh, it's, it's gone now. And then just, yeah, I feel and great, then and then I did as you come back. Mm. I'm, I'm one of those. Yeah, but that that sleep one is is my favourite. When you come down, like I'll come back home from work, and I'll try and get in. I'm tired before she does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She'll go like, uh, "Oh, it's been a nightmare with the kids all day," uh, da, 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 and then you know pass them to me before I can say I'm knackered after work. Yeah, yeah. You know, what my kids do, it's like they'll be driving me crazy all day. I don't get a minute's peace. And then just as Pete walks in the door, they're all in bed. House is clean. And I'll be like sit with a glass of wine. He's like, you're in the same position. <laughs> like, all you've done is moan at me all day. You're just sitting there with a glass of wine. I'm like, but it's been hell. My my one that I got with her as well was I obviously with cameras uh, on my phone. So uh Ab oh, goes, you can see what's going so on. Goes, you can uh, talk to me. Oh, I've been harassed. I've been harassed all day. So I'm just reading the kids a story and then uh I'm gonna go to bed myself. I'm, I'm so tired. So I'm on the camera, I'll go, I can see you having that glass of wine <laughs> <laughs> in the car. <garden. laughs> I know. You shouldn't be spying on me. Oh well. <laughs> Never know, do you? <laughs> God. Oh. I think ours are always mental when you still get home. Our yeah. house is a mad house. Yeah. Like, I like that though, don't you? It's good energy, mm. but it's mad. But I just send you videos, and I don't know if that annoys you because he's at work. It'd be a good reality TV show. But I just send you videos of like the screaming kids. Yeah. Things getting thrown everywhere. Do you not think that's 
I don't know what you're like, yeah, but like if when you do you ever send him videos of like the kids doing mad stuff or you or you just tell him or a voice note and I sit there sometimes and think, right, I'm trying to think about work. Yeah. I'm trying to do my job and you're sending me stuff that I can actually t- talk about when I get home. But you're yeah. affecting my work life now. Yeah, but that's yeah. not a hard job, <laughs> what you this do. Like, to he me. pisses me I, off. I felt like it was coming. <laughs> yeah, but you know, going to sit, talk about fucking football. And like every time I if watch Pete on TV and he's just laughing his head off and I'm like sitting on my own, kids screaming. I'm just like, I have to turn it off because it just annoys me. It's well, that, not work. It's like you're having a great time. No, but they, they, they see all that laughter and stuff. All the, all the preparation comes prep, before prep, it. Do you know what I mean? And then it, it looks easy to you yeah. because we've made it look easy. <laughs> that, that, that makes yeah, that, that really that's good for us because it means we're we're doing a good job that you think it looks that easy when yeah. really the prep is like oh crazy. God. Preparation no, for it. The worst one was the other day. I swear the house was Shay was being sick, crew was being sick. Then crew was getting angry and everything was getting launched everywhere. And I go on Instagram and Rio's dancing to the camera and I'm like, is he sure? <laughs> like, is he all right? <laughs> like, I was livid, seriously. But right, my, my problem with this is that, like, it's like, we're, obviously, we are having a good time and we, we have got a great job, which we love, but... Would you? I, I sometimes feel like you'd prefer us to have a really shit job that we yeah. hate. Yeah, because yeah, then, <laughs> then you go like, oh god. And I reckon you'd go, oh, you know, let me run a bar for you. Yeah. But if you're having a nice we time, that, do we? we don't get that. No, because you've had a good time at work. <laughs> I send you pictures of like lamb chops that have marinated and everything. <laughs> It's not the picture I was after, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I just thought that's, that's what they say. They're lovely lamb chops, they are. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that'd be a nice picture. <laughs> yeah, they are. They are. They are nice pictures, to be fair. Yeah, we have a thing called uh, the weekly wines on here. One that we kind of we kind of get off our chest, which is you know very different to how we've just described our, the arguments where you don't speak and have a fight. What we try to achieve as a couple is like... We've saved marriages with this technique, yeah, by the way. You bring up a wine, like I'll save them if I write them down sometimes about what I'm going to say about Ab. I'll go like, that was my problem this week with you. And then we try and cheers it at the end and get it off our chests and she'll say one about me. Quite often we don't cheers. Before. <laughs> We've tried to make it like a thing. Have you? Is there anything that kind of winds you up about each other? You go first, babe. No, you, go. You, you, you definitely have something about me. Go on. Uh, of course, I have. <laughs> how many, how long have we got? Well, <laughs> as long as you like. Go on, the, right, so you always say to me, you just need to let me do more. You need to delegate. I've got this. I've got it under control. Mm. Just delegate. We had a big chat about this in the kitchen the other day in front of Tia. So I delegate the other night the antibiotics of Shay. Right, right, Shay's on antibiotics. So I delegate and say, right, when you get in from work, you do the last dose. They're like clear fluid. I woke up and she had all like purple fluid. I said, babe, did you give her cowpole? He says, yeah, I gave her cowpole, <laughs> not antibiotics. It was late, you know. So she's missed the dose. But he's always giving me this speech about oh. how I've got to delegate and he can got it under control. It was one in the morning. Yeah. But I've you, worked all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not looking for excuses. This is where yeah. we... Okay. But you, you can't... But you, you know what's really funny? Do you play golf, Rio? No. He can't do a thing, but he can plan a golf trip to an absolute... Tea and doesn't forget one detail. But if I say, "Can you go to the shop?" I give him a list. I even give him a list, and he'll just forget at least one thing on the list. Yeah, and with it written down. Yeah, the thing with that with that golf trip is obviously without being rude, you're not involved in that. Do you know what I mean? So like, I've got the license to be able to yes do my thing. Yes, you know, I can go right. I can book a flight because it's like without being judged. If I book a t- if I book a time, <laughs> I, if I book a flight, be, that's the wrong time. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, oh fuck. Yeah, but just get kind of. Kind of brings you down. Have you ever booked a flight? Well, I wouldn't <laughs> Just dare. tell me. I wouldn't dare because you do, you do it. That's what I'm saying. I think this. I is don't what... do it. You you're the one behind her. Yeah. This is so similar. It's... You two is that's us. That's what I mean. So like, I feel like if you had if if you didn't hammer my decisions, I would make more decisions. Yeah, we've been speaking about got... this the other day. Yeah, I've got just one more as well. What I've realised is <laughs> the way you turned your head there as well, and I was like, <laughs> poach you, you just fucking wait. <laughs> It's because... Then pyjamas will be on later. <laughs> <laughs> I wear them underneath now. <laughs> so you never notice anything around the house. Like if there's mess, dirty surfaces, whatever it is, you don't see it. And then the other day I felt a bit ill and all of a sudden Rhea's going to the kids, pick your coat up. You haven't wiped the surfaces. And I realise, oh my God, you do actually see it. Mm. But you just ignore it when I'm there. Yeah. So <laughs> that's, it goes back to the point Chris, uh, Pete just made there. Chris? Who's so, Chris? Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I... She's really quite um, 
what's the word again where you, she sees everything? OCD. OCD yeah, about everything, yeah. So if anything's out of place, she will see it. Very because similar, of, you too. Yeah, because of that, I don't need to be on that. So I don't need true. to be so kind of like, whoa, where's this? Where's that? What's that? The moment she was ill, so I went into that mode yeah. as a good husband. Yeah? yeah. And I was seeing everything. Put your coat up, put your shoes away. Why is that surface not clean? So it's only because you're so on it. And then if I try and get involved when she's actually fit and well and on it, she's like, what are you getting involved for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, That's so true. And it's I'm, all wrong. I can't win. That's so true. I said it to you about um, kind of like the control thing where you're you're obviously all from a good place, but like really kind of on it with everyone. And then if I got involved, I'm just getting in the way. So I'm like, I leave you to it. And then, and then it becomes, if it becomes too much, so what I would have liked to have helped, but... You know, Do you, you ever get this one, Pete? Let me in. And then you go, well, you're not letting me help. I want to help you, but you know, you're never here, so you don't know. Do you get that one? I've had that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She said I sold her the dream, but that's what I'm saying. I saw the dream about well, yeah. retirement. <laughs> retirement dream. I said, we'll, we'll go out, lunches. Oh. We'll, we'll do the gym together. I thought we were going to go to the gym every day together, then go for a nice lunch, shopping. Just a really calm life, and we don't do that at all. Yeah, yeah, no, no. We, uh, we try go and gym. a bit more now. We, we alternate times now. And like sometimes like this morning you might forget that I need to go. Can't you put the baby in the car seat, in the in the chair, in the gym? If it's all feeding, school, it, it's just got, you know, you've got to get the timings right. It's all the kids at different ages, isn't it? It's yeah. just like mental. We've been going to the gym together. We we did a couple yeah, last... No, we're doing it now. I think I reckon we've, we're better now. It's just all girls together. in the class. Zumba? Yeah. So funny. No, I want to Zumba. No, no, like, Zumba. That was off air. <laughs> he couldn't do the sled. Push the sled. He was pu pushing the same weight as me and breathing out his arms. That wasn't. That wasn't. It's not true. You were. It's not true. Even, even that... There was, a, there was another footballer in there. He was laughing at Pete. He wasn't laughing at me at all. <laughs> he wouldn't do that to me. He, the thing is, right, the girls in there, they're hardcore, right, these girls. I was thinking, oh, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a housewife's class. Oh, <laughs> you know, I thought, no, it's a, it's a ladies' class, right? That, it's that, not? Well, it's, no, but it's, it's called it's, strength. It's, Maybe it is a girls' class, don't you? But no, but there's a lot of women in there, basically. But yeah, it's hard. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> it's a tough class. It's what? embarrassing when that happens as well, isn't it? What's that? I get embarrassed. If, like, where did we do a class that time? Uh, so uh, we we got a, a gym in our house, yeah, and I'd so much rather go there because people, because you played football, they expect a certain level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's pressure the moment you walk in that gym. Mm. I don't like it. But I agree. I don't. I don't like that either. I don't like. Do you isn't... remember when you got? Um, you Gra love this story, don't you? Graham Zunes. Oh yeah. Graham Zunes. Oh, you. Oh, oh, did you think I was going to tell no, you no, the no, weight no, lift no. story? No, tell the Graham he Zunes. He nearly Zunes died because <laughs> he dropped the bar across his neck. <laughs> Like McLovin trying to do some bench prison. In Liverpool and the bar was across his neck and he's like, help me out. You weren't even That's there. Like you. Remember you broke your arm? Yeah. On the outside of that side of the gym. And you told me it was stuck like this. Her arm was hanging off. And like he was like, just put like it back. I was going, it's stuck. Did you yeah. actually break, break your arm? I dislocated my arm and all we were saying to me was put it back. I'm she like, went gas and air. Everything is unbelievable. In the gym? Yeah. yeah, it's unbelievable. Well, how did that happen? I slipped over. I said, you got to fall right. you got to know how to fall. Yeah. <laughs> it was the wrong time. <laughs> wow. Honestly, bit, bit I, went, off. Yeah. I wow. broke my arm boxing though, didn't I? Well, I thought I did. Yeah. I went for an x-ray. It was not wrong with it, but my God. I thought I, thought, <laughs> I, thought I broke my arm. <laughs> I was just like, oh, all my nails was broken. Everything. She's like, Pete, I've definitely broke my arm. I was like, well, you can't do that when you've got a broken arm. No way. <laughs> to be fair, you could have. You know when she's injured and done something, she's always quite spot on with it. I no. broke my arm off. Oh, knows. Yeah, she knows. I mean, it was stuck. Yeah, it, was, it wasn't a right <laughs> angle like that. Yeah. The other way. It was way. a clue. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the one story she was going to tell there was like we were in Barbados in the hotel and uh, me and Ava have been doing these classes every single day together. It was great. Anyway, it was yoga, this one, and I thought that that sounds like it might be just female orientated. And I, she was like, don't be such a baby, just come. So I went there full of women and me. So I'm in doing this uh, yoga class anyway. Graham Stunas is in the same hotel as us, and um, don't think he's into. He's kind of like poked. He's poked his head through the door, and uh, just talking to his missus. And then he's kind of, <laughs> 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 what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> he had his like weights gloves on and that yeah. like gold gym gloves and like a vest on. What was you and wearing? He was, like smashing like big weights. Out. What was and I was you doing yoga. He just wears, like, I was a in the downward dog. <laughs> I was in the downward dog position. <laughs> You two do work out a lot though, right? You're you're on it. You feel like you're a fitness couple. Yeah. 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 
three mm. times a week, three, four times a week. Yeah. Four times on a good week and some t- two, three times a lot of the yeah. time. Yeah. But it's, um, That's great, though. Because of the baby, it's obviously, it's come off a little bit, but I'm like, we're working back up now, you're back yeah. in the gym again. Yeah. So. And do you do it together? Yeah, most of the time. Mm-hmm. Recently, it's been a bit of a debate if you get to go gym and I don't like yeah, that's, a bit of a, that's a bit of an issue yeah I'm quite <laughs> selfish <laughs> because someone's got to look after the kids yeah yeah it's quite funny because there's dynamic obviously there's a guy who comes into cook who's I know I wouldn't train if someone weren't there to help me train right, yeah. Same. so he comes from far away so if I, I can't wake up and roll over and go no no he's come an hour I have, I have to get downstairs so we're in there and, and you are a little bit like if he if he spends a bit more five percent more time with me I can feel the vibe in the whole session change <laughs> completely. That's not and true. Can... <laughs> you're making that up. No, it is. It is. And then, well, like when you're training together. Yeah. yeah. So if he's spending maybe a little bit more time with me on my exercise or whatever, I can feel the vibe. And then it's like, I'll push him to go, no, no, you need to go and do that with her or whatever. And like she's sitting there and then the vibe comes back again. So it's quite like, you've got to make sure that wow. they're equal times in I there. I know it. He's talking shit. Yeah. <laughs> I've never known this. But I don't say it. Yeah. Keep the peace. Come on, get it all out now. Yeah. Is that your wine? Is, we need, we need your wine. wine. Yeah, that's my wine. That's I know you've wine. got more than that. No, my, my main wine is, can I actually touch on it a little bit? It's like, allow me to do a bit more. Yeah. That's bullshit. Yeah. You, do you How do you know my house? <laughs> <laughs> just, just as a man, that's not, if you if she gave you more responsibility, you'd moan about it probably. No, I'd get along with do with it. When you give me more responsibilities, I'll do more. In lockdown, I was cleaning toilets and everything. I had, like, I had the marigolds on on a regular basis. <laughs> the mestos was out the lot. <laughs> but like, what do you think you can manage and not get it wrong and, and remember it? No, hold on. You can get stuff wrong, you know, and then <laughs> learn from that. Yeah. It's like you get it wrong and you jump down our throats. And so you go, I'm not doing it now. I'm not doing it because I'm not going to just be talked to like that and think I'm just going to carry on doing it. So I'm not doing it now. Oh, so you never do nothing. But if you just like, (laughs) let me have that mistake, maybe another time I have another mistake, then I'm not going to make that continuously. Yeah. Our lives aren't like that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, when Abby was pregnant, (laughs) um, I took the girls away on my own. She said, absolutely no way you can do that. I said, I'll bet you I can. (laughs) He was trying to put me in early labour because I, I, I think I was like 36 weeks pregnant and couldn't fly and it was half term so I was like take the girls and I like pack all the bags like in outfits day stuff night stuff are you allowed to pack? Jo- sorry oh, no. Oh, no, no. I don't even pack my own stuff you, you no, pack, pack your own, my own stuff. stuff I'm well, not allowed to touch anything else I can look at it I can look at it I can like yeah but yeah, I can't I'm like get away from anything. the bag yeah I'm so, quite comfortable with that she's good at the packing I'm happy <laughs> with that like. so then when we go away I'll put all the dirty stuff in a case co- colour coordinated you too so when I get home I could just put all the whites in the wash da 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 so Pete thought it'd be hilarious to just send me videos of just getting all their clothes and he just <laughs> threw them at the wall and they're just in a pile in the corner of the hotel room just to like... Do you know what was up. amazing, right? It was an amazing system, right? The girls had a great time doing it. So they come in and like, obviously we still did the dirty case at the end, but they come in from the day and throw all their clothes at the wall and it slid down into the case. And at the end of the holiday, I just shut it and went, we went home. Yeah, I agree, I like that. Like it was just a fun game. It was like we're we're organised through play. Yeah, <laughs> this is systematic. These are systematic, isn't it? It's a real like this is systematic. She's regiment, rigid. She's regiment. But I think when you've got a big family, you have to be. You have to be well organised because things just don't go to plan otherwise. I agree with that. And yeah, I, I am taking a mick a bit. Like, like, I'm, on, I'm on four <laughs> school WhatsApp groups. Then like a gymnastics fucking WhatsApp group, a netball WhatsApp group, a football WhatsApp group. Yeah. It's it's so there's so much information to take in and listen I'm only joking I couldn't do it for more than a day or a week you know what I mean like you you definitely do he far takes more than the kids to school every day well when he takes them to school he puts the bags in the boot and then comes home and then the school calls us <laughs> they haven't got the bag <laughs> does it every <laughs> time, time. It's not every time. <laughs> and I'm like how do you do that every time it's not every time so don't put them in the fucking boot <laughs> Safe in it, just in case. That's actually my wine. That's actually my wine because well, you did it on Monday. Bags in the boot. Yeah. All right. Well, cheers, guys. <laughs> yeah, what's my wine? Let's be better people. Have you got a wine for me? No, we got the, the guests do the wines today. You've been good this week. <laughs> Have I? The, them, them groups are. Tony Tuesday. <laughs> the, the... I know. <laughs> I know. That's well true. done. That's them true. groups are mad. I don't get involved. That's one thing I don't. I'm happy to be out of. Oh, the WhatsApp groups. And all it's the info. Yeah, a lot. Wish yeah, I couldn't cope without them though. Because I forget everything. I need the reminders I from do. the mums. Yeah. I do. The audience write in with their, with their wines as well. Uh, 
Some of them are very good. Um, I'm going to read a few. Hello, Abby and Pete. Real Kate. Uh, just wanted to message and say my fiance Lauren and I listened to the pod uh, she gave birth to our beautiful baby daughter Zara on Friday the 16th oh. the label was long and we listened to old episodes of your podcast throughout to keep her calm while she was having contractions I was finding it hard not to laugh at Pete's shit jokes wow <laughs> heavy uh, in all seriousness it was crazy you two helped us bring a, a, uh, our baby girl into the world if you give a shout out to Lauren who is absolutely amazing during childbirth on the next pod that's just a nice one. Oh, oh nice. congrats, Lauren. That's nice. It's congrats. worth it. Wasn't a wine. That was a nice one. Well, this one is very different. Uh, hi, Abby and Pete. Okay, in Rio. Um, my husband is so thick. <laughs> 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 I fell out with him a few months back, so I refused to make his tea. I spied on him while he was in the kitchen. He was watching a YouTube video of how to make an omelette. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. The same happened that this week. He bought a corkscrew for the red wine he had to drink while watching the Borough game. And same again, Googling how to use it. Wow. Well, is he actually this clueless? How do I train him to be more of a man? Ooh, I could think of worse things you should catch him watching on. <laughs> that's true, yeah. yeah. That's true. Make an omelet. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. I feel like the more you do stuff for men or, or people in general, the more they just won't do it themselves. So you've just got to leave him to get on with it. Yeah. I'm that way inclined. Very true. Cause, yeah, because mm. that jars me. Like, for example, we were going like, where are the scissors? Another one. Another one. <laughs> where, where, <laughs> sorry to take over this one. To be fair, this is what the podcast where is about. The, where are the scissors? Yeah. You, how do you not know where the scissors or the pan is? It's in the same mm. place that it always is. In my defence, sometimes I talk, I think out loud. <laughs> yeah. I mean, sometimes Where's I'm not even asking you, but yeah. I'm going, where are the scissors? And you go, oh my God. <laughs> How are you even saying that? And I'm like, no, no, I weren't asking you. Well, why are you saying it for? All right, leave it. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I saw someone on Instagram yesterday who had a wrap and paper station in the house. Oh, I saw that as well. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. Are you, are you the same as Kate? Like, it's you literally love like mad stuff like that. Porn you, yeah. 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 you two are very, We're quite very similar. similar. <laughs> it sounds... <laughs> have you ever heard the story? I've told it on the podcast before where I woke her up um, and she was like, no. I was like, what? She's having the best dream. I was like, why? What happened? She was like, just about to see this plate. A plate. <laughs> a plate. Oh my god! Yeah. It was a painted plate. No, it was no. a painted I love, plate. <laughs> I love them. Like paint. It was. It was like this amazing shop in my dream, and they had these huge platters that'd be nice for Portugal with all colours on. And Pete woke me up just as I was getting it off the wall. Oh my god! Wow! <laughs> <It's> like, Mad. <gasps> Couldn't believe yeah, it. That is like you're like you two are really similar. Uh, you not dreamed about plates. I don't think. But yeah, what are you like in the kitchen? Who cooks? Kate cooks more than me. He, I don't know why I'm laughing. He's actually a really good cook. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes, thank you. Oh, He's a good cook. And you are very ha mm. you are very <laughs> hands on, and he will you will cook in the kitchen. I do right. it most of the time. The shadities? What you got in the locker? I like barbecue. I like, I love going out and barbecuing and have a beer in my hand. But like. you can't turn the barbecue on though, can you? Yeah. Do you marinade? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I I, I can't I, have a, um. Yeah, Kate normally does that. I I, I can't have the meat going on the. Dry cooker meat. with just dry like no I can't I need to have like some sort of something on it mm. the but, season is very serious in our house yeah oh, like it? everyone the meat has to be well seasoned yeah. and when I met Rio obviously I didn't not obviously but my mum just used to cook with salt and pepper so I tried that <laughs> one and let me tell you they said are you cook with heavy on water that's what they said to me <laughs> that was hilarious <laughs> so, so now the seasoning is a big deal yeah isn't it yeah. I, I, I quite like cooking I don't cook a lot but when I do it's like a big thing to me music's on like the kids will go like dad's cooking because the music's on do you know what I mean and mm. a, a glass of wine or a beer or something and then it, it's a big thing for me because mm. I don't do it really that often do I do you find it hard cooking for all the kids? Like, because I'm doing like four different meals. Lib doesn't This is a things. big conversation. So when I make dinner and they're all like going, oh, that's horrible, that's horrible and don't want it. And I'm like, what's the point? Mm. You know, to be fair, we don't, we have one meal for everyone, don't don't we? Yeah, You're they... a really good wife and mum because you obviously cater to everyone's needs. Yeah, but Lib doesn't eat, so I'm panicking that she's like be uh... too skinny or whatever. So I have to make her what she wants, but she still doesn't need to. <laughs> yeah, we, we kind of do two two meals really because the ours are, ours are you're, you're still cooking for teenagers as well, aren't you? So, mm. I mean, there'll be some like variations to the meal, but really everyone kind of eats the same. I might do one spicy chicken, one less spicy, but really, the kid, we, all our family are really big eaters, aren't they? Mm. Mm. But the portions are out of control. So that's what someone came around the other day and they were like, "What are you cooking for yeah. for dinner? If we do sea bass, I think it's sixteen fillets of sea bass I've got to cook sixteen. Wow. Wow. Yeah, because you'll have three or four. 
Tate will have three and through they just everyone eats so much so I've mm. got like seven pans on mm. yeah that's more what I struggle with like the quantities mm. the clean up process after is wow. unreal, mate. Yeah, the amount God, of pans that's, and that, that is amazing nuts. Well, the kids do a lot the kids that. do that so that's good it's part of the chores in the house yeah well I suppose like uh, yeah it's great yeah, that's a good show ours won't do anything well yeah because ours are still very young and I mean like we don't know what it's like to have teenagers in the house I mean like Brilliant. can it Come good oh, they clean up everything really <laughs> our cook or Kate cooks and I happily sit there after and they just do the clean up process well, well you, you do it good there. though mm -hmm. They do... Um, Kate oversees it. Mediocre job. Mm. Real will just sit there. I'll help them. But um, I'll go over it. But they do it for their pocket money. So that's the agreement. They <laughs> they clear up and they get pocket money. Sophia's mm. friend empties the dishwasher for a pound. If I said, Sophia, I'll give you a pound to open that dishwasher, she'd be like, piss off. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. She, that's... Just, she wouldn't, would she? No, she wouldn't. It's one of the main causes of arguments, though, in our house. Yeah. The clean up. The dishwasher. Mm, yeah. The dishwasher. Who's done it right? Who hasn't done it? All the forks are messed in with the knives. And, like, I, I like it to be like quite... The knives go there, forks go there. So when I'm taking it out, it's all easy. Mm. These fuckers don't do that, man. <laughs> it's unbelievable. But that's something that we we, we look forward to because I, I, we have to make them do that. You know, like mm. do the chores and things like that. Because at the moment they're still a bit young and we're just, they just get it wrong. It is that though. When we first started saying them to do that, it was like... What? Mm, yeah. What? How dare, like, how dare you? Like, but they, they get into it, don't they? Yeah, You're on him, to be fair. I'm on him. And now that Lorenz has moved out, he says he's so glad that he'd done all that stuff because he knows what... He kind of knows his way around the kitchen a little bit. Mm. 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 That's good for boys to be able to do that. Because, like, when I when I first met Pete and went round to his house, obviously he was playing for Liverpool in England at the time. He had no bedding on his bed. <laughs> like Like, a blue pillow slip on one pillow with no quilt <laughs> or a sheet the house was minging he had like a money box next to the bed with like from loaded magazine with like loads of naked girls on it was like in between us oh my God. he had a rail with clothes on and in the fridge one jar of pesto some pepperami and dry pasta and <laughs> i was kind of like well you know what like, I, I, I was just like i was just living now my mates were living like so i was just speak to him every day back in london and they're like either students or, you know, just started out working and they were like, oh, yeah, and go get some beans or something, beans on toast and I'll go like, yeah, well, I'll probably have that as well. And I was like... <laughs> exactly. I obviously could have done Your nan more, used to make you dinner. But I just lived kind of... That's all I yeah. kind of knew. It was like, you come out with my mum and dad's and now I'm on my own and I was kind of like living like I was at uni. Yeah. <laughs> um, I had nothing to spend money on. I wasn't like mad, really it? flash or... Crazy. I was I spending everything, fortune. Were you? Oh, yeah. I was a nightmare. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't... He texted me, he was like, you may as well move in. That was romantic. You may as well move in. That was romantic. <laughs> wow. I didn't know it was a thing. I didn't text know. text as well. I just I didn't thought, know. I thought it was I just know. like... I, well, I did say no. I was like, that's not how you're supposed to ask someone to move. I thought he was going to like get me a key with like a heart key ring. And a cake or something. Yeah, exactly. All of that balloons. How did I ask you, by the way? You Maybe. didn't really. Didn't I? No. We kind of come to like a mutual agreement. Did we? Yeah. The kids weren't sure. Ours was trickier, you got to remember. Yeah. I was moving into your like marital home with the kids. Mm. It's a wild one, really. Mm. The kids, like one of them fancied it, the other one didn't. It was all a bit up in the air, but it's kind of like, right, we either go full, full no, you, steam with this. You, or... you, was, you was my mate first, in the kids' eyes. She was my mate. Yeah. yeah. Go on, tell you, you say it. But we made you go around my mate's house and then we just accidentally bumped into her at my mate's house and I said to the kids, oh, God, oh that's, that... that's Kate. And she bought her dogs and thought they'd love the dog. So she's got a little chihuahua, Ronnie. And they were like, oh, we love Kate. Well, we love the dog first. And then, like, we love Kate. And then we've done that a few times. Built up slowly. And built up, like, the familiarity with Kate. And then I asked the kids, didn't I? We were talking and said, like, how are we going to tell the kids that we're now seeing each other? So um, we made up, like, we'll go to the cafe. And I asked the kids how I should ask Kate out. Oh, so like, that's nice. So they were that's involved. involved yeah. them in it. Yeah, that's yeah. a really good way of doing it. So it was like, I said a few like variations and they were like, Dad, do not ask that because you'll get, <laughs> you get pied. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is the chat up line, boys. This is what we're going to go with. No, no, Dad, Dad, Dad please, do not do that. And then we end up, where did I ask you? I think the cafe, probably. The cafe, yeah, probably. Lovely. Them. Yeah, fry up right in front. It was beautiful. And then uh, she said, yeah, it was good. Oh, nice. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, that's better than what I got. I got just that. Text. Yeah, but like, like I said, so I, you know, afterwards I realised I was asking people, you know, is that a thing like moving in? I didn't realise. I had no idea that it was a thing that what could do be you mean? Oh, like like a moment, isn't it? It's like I didn't realise. I just thought it was like your stuff's here, 
like you got, you know, you're here all the time. Legit, ask what I was doing logistically. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's just like better, like. <laughs> To move in. Yeah, it works uh, better, doesn't it? Yeah, whereas I should have done, you know, here's a key in a box. Do you do push presents? Uh, no. We we don't. We do them for one child, not the other, don't we? I'm still waiting for my upgrade, <laughs> oh, yeah. my ring. What, man? Man, man new... upgrade. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one of our anniversaries. And bear in mind, I've got four kids. I've never had a push present. Not... How's a push present? It's like you Made get a up. present when you give birth. Bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> He bought me this tree anyway, and it was like the most ridiculous thing. Where is it? You've taken it out. Yeah, it used to be there. Because She's I can't. It right off. Yeah. It's, a, it's it's a faux silk blossom tree, as big as the corner of that room, and we were we were at one of the kids' swimming galas or something, and Pete was like sweating and running in and out, and I was thinking he's having an affair or something. It's on the phone all all the time. I've got to go back to the house. Then we come back, he did this big unveiling of this tree, and I was like, what the hell is that? Where did you get him from? But I thought it was a decoy because I wanted this um, this necklace. So my mom's like, the necklace is hidden on the tree. So we're like around. rooting through the tree. And he just, it was just the tree. And I was like, where did you get the, he was like, I was going through Selfridges Food Hall, and I saw it and knew you'd love it. I was like, repulsive and it's in a vase a tree in a vase wow. ginormous you know what's so people, funny about this tree right people who come around like like lads and that they go oh a lovely tree like honestly <laughs> the lads go and then there's women that come around and go what the fuck is that <laughs> yeah it's just but I can't throw it away are you good at receiving presents like, like do you surprise her awful I, I wouldn't dare surprise her by the way these are his wines but he's just getting them out in a different oh, yeah, way right, right, just so, right, right, just okay, so we all okay, know what's yeah. going on that's here that's a wine yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just keep getting a little side eye but you can't surprise her it's mad I'm like that she says you're shit at buying presents and I'm like but you I, I buy a present sometimes you don't buy me presents though what you don't surprise me with anything no I say what do you like and you say what you like and then I'll go and get it <laughs> I would love to surprise her but I know that like that because I've thought of it it's wrong Whereas so, yeah, if yeah. she's thought of it, it's going to be right. So yeah, I just exactly. ask, so then I ask. I would be the best boyfriend on earth. You know, just little things. You know, coming home with like a little card on there with... You know I've been better recently. We got, Since the, the this Therapy Crouch podcast, I've taken on board a lot of stuff that you've said to me. Because no, he used to write me poems. <laughs> he used to write me poems a lot. And then this year he wrote me a poem on, on Valentine's Day and said you're really nice and bubbly or something like that. And I was like, fucking bubbly? <laughs> like, no it one rhymed with called... my next line. No, <laughs> no one wants to be called bubbly. We should have had a poem, like a poem off. I'm a poem writer. Oh, have you got some as well? Yeah, yeah. I've right. poems. That's my game. Oh, that's my game what as well. What is going on here? I Do feel you have like, like... poem classes at football club? <laughs> yeah, we raised on the podcast last time, I think, that when you were there, so I just wanted to get your take on it. Uh, when Abby came to the Champions League final, because it was Liverpool, her dad was there, brother was there, what loads of this? friends and family. What are you trying to do to me? No, I'm just getting Rio's take on the fact that when you s were singing um, Liverpool songs to Glenn Hoddle in the lift, what, 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 what he made of well, it? Well, Rio said I was fine. Well, was, what, did you make story. About, what did you oh make of... Oh my God, have what, you? What did you make of Abby's um, performance? Yeah. <laughs> at the Champions League at final. At the Champions League final, yeah, when she yeah, came I, along. I thought she was very... Um, she was very... It was an eventful time for her, I thought. Yeah. I thought you'd you done well. I thought the, that first day, I think he was really excited to be there. I was. <laughs> and I'm I saw you, I saw you twice. Fan. I saw you twice. And your brother, I think. And I could see the, the the panic on your brother's face. I think someone will use your dad. Mm. Mm. They just say, like, she's getting pissed. I was with my friends, Tommy and Kaz from Liverpool as well. But I can't drink all day. Like, the men can sit there just drinking. And then Kim was, like, right, we're going for dinner. And I stood up, couldn't even stand up. I somehow went upstairs, got changed, put tan just on my legs. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone was like but obviously this is a, like you know all the team right so oh, dinner wow. and and what I was saying we went to the, to the ground um, you know in Paris and we were doing like various bits we were doing at the ground so I didn't know what Ab was up to I thought she was I didn't move from I, that square I thought she was up the Eiffel Tower yeah. or something you know <laughs> sipping on a spa. cappuccino uh, getting absolutely levered with Liverpool fans <laughs> <laughs> you always feel like you're busy as a couple mm. and you're doing other things together obviously Kate does a blended I've got Vibe with Five and stuff like yeah. that and, but we've got something we don't do nothing together mm. really mm. the odd commercial thing that we do together but we have a laugh it's mm. probably like what you guys are it's yeah. actually I really enjoy I enjoy the stuff I do anyway mm. but when I do it with Kate I do really enjoy it we have a laugh 
And so we've got something in the in the in the works at the moment. Can't really talk. That's too really much annoying about when it. people say that, isn't Ooh. it? We've got something coming, yeah. but we can't tell you. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Yeah. But really we were sitting there going, well, "Why didn't they ask us?" Like in about two months, we'd been able to speak about all the stuff we're doing. <laughs> yeah. that really, really PR'd it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could could have put it back. <laughs> no, no. But you enjoy doing the, like vibe for vibe and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. You enjoy but, that side of it. Yeah, I do. I just like, do you know what it is? I, with Vibe with Five, I like just like seeing the normal fan with a, a, a current and ex player. Yeah, no, well, that's obviously the one we did, like yeah. the Peter Crash. And I think we, it's like, same it's so, thing. Yeah, it's so nice because it's so relatable. <laughs> No, because they ask the right <laughs> questions. You yeah. know, like they... that's just what we do on ours. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's nice that you you've got someone. <laughs> No, it's nice that you got someone so that likes asking... are you saying Rio's copied you? No, not <laughs> Is that what you're saying? That's out of all... I did think that, I've got to be honest. <laughs> no. no, it's nice because like, they're asking the questions that kind of like fans kind of want to yeah. know. Yeah, I think definitely. that's the, the dynamic of it. Yeah. Like, we went and done Jose Mourinho the other day and the, the, the guys came with us and like they were wetting themselves almost. Like I was like really amped up to do it because he's obviously a big name and he's mm. done so much, but... He's just sitting there going, I just, I don't, I'd never have been able to do this. Mm -hmm. And I just love that kind of being able to kind of unlock that for somebody else. And mm. that somebody else, then it's relatable to so many other fans, like we say, around mm. around the world watching. So, yeah, I enjoy it. It's the interviews that I love doing the most, to be honest. When you have guests on. It is great when best. you tap into someone that also, I like doing people that you haven't, you're not in their space, you're not in their realm. You're just understanding what they do and how they've mm. been so successful in it. Mm. it's quite good not just footballers you know when you've ended up being with people that are just from a totally different walk of life yeah 100% mm. it's uh, it's good it is um, mad though as you're trying to get them trying to get these interviews because some of them yeah. pay a lot of money for them to go on oh, no, they do. do you know what I mean there's a lot of them yeah. that pay and I'm yeah, like no, I ain't paying no exactly do you know what I mean you either want to come on or you don't yeah or you don't yeah mm. yeah we, were, we, were think we didn't get paid to come on there, did we? No. You didn't even get, we we get, thinking, get lunch. We didn't get lunch. lunch. <laughs> Can we just talk about that? Can we touch <laughs> on that? Yeah, yeah, if you want to. It's unbelievable. Uh, I, I nearly died because Pete said you called him and said, like, what, what we having for lunch? <laughs> I was like, shit, the, the Ocado's not coming till four o'clock. I've got no food in for Rio. I was, I was thinking, Pete, Pete knows me. He knows that when we're away, one of the biggest things that I talk about, and first and foremost when I arrive, is food. Food? Yeah, he tells me about your packed you lunches. Do you make them? Stuff. I had a packed lunch on the way here. She did, did you make yeah. them for yeah. him? Yeah, I'm, I do feed you well, she, don't yeah. I, babe? I have to say, she is yeah. blinded at that. See what I mean? Yeah, the Accardo comes She wants comes a man like fed when he's out to work. You do worry so. about me. You don't do anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just give you a banana and a heel. Get a banana <laughs> and a heel, yeah. Work. <laughs> That's good. Right, so Kate, you've said just before we started this that you aren't that much into football. Is that correct? So I'd put you in a similar bracket to Ab. I feel like because... Not like the football that's on the TV, but I'm into watching my boys, the big boys play football, but anything that's on the TV, not really. Not for you. No. She wants the volume off. Volume yeah, off. watch it with it, volume, no volume off because the commentary does jar me. I like pen. oh, really? pens. You like pens? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only bit of football I like. It's amazing. This. It's unbelievable. This is why I've got a little quiz for us. <laughs> what do you think about pausing a live football match? Scandalous. To go and get a takeaway. Right. Yeah. What's what do you think about no. that? that? That's not on. Because Pete not went mental. It was mental. the Champions League <laughs> final, wasn't it? Champions League final, semi-final? Yeah. Um, Champions League final, it was a final. It was a massive game. Yeah, that's not on. And our it. Italian was ready, so I was like, Pete, go and pick it up. And he was like, no, I'm not picking it up. I'm like, well, I'm not going out now. I'm not trying. She said, just pause the game. I said, <laughs> fuck it. Like, my phone's going to blow up. Someone scores. Yeah, exactly. It ruins it. It's not like watching it, EastEnders. You know it's I mean? like the phone's going to blow up. You, I, like, if I, if I'm, it's like, I know a girl's going to be coming if, if I go out now. Yeah. Or it's at least, at least 20 minutes I'm out. I'm back. I'm 20 minutes into, deep into the game. What if someone sits on the remote and you lose it's, 20 minutes? It's double excitement. <laughs> it's double excitement. It's not double excitement. <laughs> it is. It's ruining the excitement. <laughs> and yeah. then she started jumping at me and fighting me for the controller. That is a problem, football on a Sunday, sorry, in our mm. house, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Because... The teenage boys as well. Yeah. Are you watching every game? I watch it. I watch as many as I'm allowed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Because uh, it's every Sunday, isn't you it? You don't want to take the piss, I think. Like, yeah. you know, because you could watch football every... You've got to pick your battles, you know what I mean? If there's a... If there's an early one that I can get away with not watching, I'll go out for lunch and we'll do something and then we're back at 4.30. <laughs> yeah, 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 we, yeah. we changed. So when we were renewed our vows, we planned the whole thing in, in the Maldives. And when we got there, all like the guys at the bar were like, oh, it's the um, 
Champions League final tomorrow and Pete was like, shit. No, World Cup final. Changed the wedding so we could watch the match. <laughs> I, I'll make that right. I just think no one wants to come. And like, like anyone who's into football is going to be but thinking, no one was oh, there, only me, this. you and... <laughs> I'll <I'm laughs> do that. Everyone wants to watch it, you know. No, your quote was, I'm not marrying you again. I'm missing <laughs> the, the World Cup final. Wow. Is um, that the quote? Yeah. You were like, what's one day? But I'm thinking we had a lovely day watching it. And what a great game. If I'd have missed oh. that, I'd have been gutted. Football, though, I, it is, it's our life, though, isn't it? I just, mm. like, yeah, that's true. It I, is. I, I just sometimes walk in and go, oh, there's a game on. Wow. That, no, that, like, that's the one of the things. So another, I prefer another him just to tell me, listen, babe, this match is on at four o'clock or whatever time it is so that I can know what's going on. But we might have something planned and you'll be like, oh. Yeah. Or my favourite one is I've got to watch this one for work. That's oh, a new yeah. one that comes yeah. out quite often. It's true though. They're always at lying. awkward times for poor <laughs> matches though. Yeah, they are on a Sunday as well. Well, yeah. let's just plan it around your Sundays then so the games fit into your life. Yeah, true life. I don't <laughs> mind if I'm doing a roast and the kids are just playing and you're on the couch. Yeah. I don't mind that because I can mm. faff about. Now we're talking, I'd just like to get your take on some of these uh, <laughs> aspects, if you don't mind. What is a brace in football? Is that like you go first because you're going to be even better than I am. She's going to be slightly more knowledgeable than you. Is it a wall? A brace. Like a, a wall. A wall. No? Okay. A brace position? No, a so it's, there's no wrong or right answer. <laughs> Honestly, I've got no idea. A brace? Yeah. No, I don't know. I've got no, no idea. Have a guess. Have a guess. No. I'm, I, I've got, there's nothing in my head. Nothing. nothing is coming to my head. Not like a le thing that they put on a sore foot. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, a plaster? I knew this was going to be good. No, like the boot Like a brace, thing. like a, the like a brace. brace. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, a, yeah, a yeah, knee brace. It's not a bad yeah. answer. Not a bad answer. <laughs> no, it's actually when you score two goals. I've never heard right. of that. So it's not actually life. you score a brace, it's two goals. What's the fox in the box mean? Some fit beds just ran out <laughs> 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 These all that makes perfect sense. Doesn't it? You got an answer for that Streaker. one? Fox in the box. Yeah. What on earth? I've got no oh, freaking Danny idea. Fox? No clue. Danny Fox. Okay, not he bad. He did play. Did play. Yeah. But, uh, no, it's not about Danny Fox. I don't even know who he is, but I've heard the name. No. It's someone who sn sniffs out an opportunity, like a goal scorer. Someone who's a fox. Crouchy, 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 a, a bit wily. Yeah, like a bit yeah. wily. You know, someone who can score goals. Suck another language. Yeah, okay, okay. This is fun. What does it mean when some when someone is in someone's pocket? Oh, I know. Just too close to him, like chasing d d alongside him. When he's chasing alongside him? <laughs> no. Okay, any... <laughs> <laughs> I've got no fucking in, in idea. The pocket? I just it, in your pocket, they're just right next to you. Yeah. 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 You can't get away from them. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, we'll give you that. That's, we'll that's, give you that's that. what I said. Yeah, you said it running, us, running alongside them. <laughs> With the I hand think... in the pocket. <laughs> yeah. Tea bag. You can't get away from them. <laughs> can't get away from them. Yeah, so like, you know, if a defender's... You know, Rio's might have kept me in his pocket. Probably has a few times. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what is Fergie time? What? What's Fergie time? Fergie time. So, Alex Ferguson? Alex Ferguson. Something to do with him? But what's he, what's he doing in his time? He's talking yeah. to you? Fergie in, time. In... <laughs> oh, shit. He can't say that. I won't oh, say Harry, Alex. You need to be quicker because Fergie wants you to be better. It's Fergie time. That's what I'd say. Okay. But that, babe? <laughs> yeah, I'd say, <laughs> this I'd say is something great. About, this. along those lines of, you know, don't do it in your own time, do it in free <laughs> <time. laughs> This is amazing. What? <laughs> don't That's... do it in your own time, do it in Fergie time. I think it's logical. Yeah. It's You're just Fergie trying to make time. us look dumb here. Okay, Fergie time is basically like when uh, United, Man United of the, the day, we, you do were unbeatable, right? And they, everyone used to say, that instead of the ref's time, they'd add time on at the end of a game so United can win, basically. And that was Fergie time. And they used to call it Fergie time, as if as if Alex Ferguson's influencing the referees. Yeah. But I like, don't do it on your time. <laughs> <laughs> do it on Fergie time. <laughs> That's kind of the same thing. <laughs> okay, one last question. What is a Penenka? Sounds like some kind of fail at something. Like a, not a bad guess. A fail, mm. it's not right, failed it's not a bad goal. Thing. <laughs> a failed goal? Paninka. Yeah. Paninka. I've got no fun. No, no. I've got no idea. <laughs> okay. Paninka. You've guess? seen a Paninka. Can you give us a clue? You've seen one live and, and it oh, didn't go in. Is it a um, a bicycle kick? Oh, not bad. No, not bad. Me? I tried one at Old Trafford and it went over the bar. Header? Scissor? No. Scissor? 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Basically, Penenka was an old footballer who did a style of penalty where he dinks, oh, c- he dinks it down the middle. Remember, I did one for England, put it over. It was, was there. Against Jamaica. Jamaica, yeah. I was there, I played. <laughs> Never forgot it. <laughs> I've gone for a Penenko. Who do I think I am? <laughs> unbelievable. Play for England. Oh. Outrageous. That was unbelievable. Yeah. That. that was a robot come out then, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was it. Yeah. I was so I was full of confidence that yeah. day. Oh, yeah, okay, let's let's give a go. I've got one for Rio. Oh, there we go. What days does Tier Horse ride on? Is that the type of question we're going for? <laughs> <laughs> this is family. Let's see if he knows what's going on. Wow. I wanted more response. <laughs> <laughs> Um, one Tuesday. in seven here. How many days a week is it? <laughs> Tuesday and first Wednesday. Monday and Wednesday. You got one right. Oh. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Peter, how many children do we have? <laughs> <laughs> Rio, what five. was the speech at our wedding? <laughs> <All right>. oh. <laughs> What's the meaning of the word coord? I reckon Rio knows more about fashion than, than us, Katie. Well, Rio's a fashionista. I know, <laughs> no. he is. No, no. Every, time I, well, every time we see it, I'm like, God, Rio's always got lovely clothes on. <laughs> Pete just puts it, like, Pete's into cardigans now. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he just oh, On this up, podcast, like... my nickname's become Cardi P. <laughs> 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 How outrageous, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking Cardi P. Cardi P. <laughs> and they're like, not cheap Cardis. I don't know why you keep buying them. <laughs> Cardi P's unreal. Cardi, Cardi P, P. <laughs> To be fair, I can't take you. To, she buys most of my clothes. Do you? A lot of it. Rhea's got an online shopping Addiction. addict. He's addicted to shopping online. Mm. He he has so much more stuff than me. They're mm. really good at targeting me. <laughs> oh, you know, like you get them emails or yeah. them things that pop Guerrilla up. Guerrilla marketing. Do you send yeah, them back? Uh, and I just, what do you mean? If they don't work or do you, because if he gets it online, it doesn't work, he'll just keep it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a sender back person. Uh, we, we'll do with that They're logistics. The people they, yeah. Well, like you keep ordering from China, and I keep having to have a big import tax, like 200, 300 the hell pounds. Are you buying from China? What is he yeah. buying? Mad like... Random shit. They just, they just target me, though. Team it? Are you on Team it? <laughs> they target me. They do. It's unreal. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in a bad way. Seriously, yeah. the emails come through. I can't skip the email. Really? I just have to click on it. Have and a I go, look. Oh, I like that. I've got an addiction. Yeah. I've got six hundred and eighty something unopened emails. Yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm in that realm of yeah. somewhere. It's disgusting. Okay, what's Cold. the meaning of the word coord? Oh, like a c- coordinated outfit? <laughs> yeah. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that just came to me. What is a colette? What's a colette? I know. Do you know? It's a pair of trousers. That's a colette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I knew. I thought I knew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I knew where you was going with that. <laughs> what is Kate's favourite film? <sighs> She don't watch films. No, I don't. She's not a film watcher. Do another one, do another one. I don't watch films. Do you know what Rio's favourite film is? No. No? Do you watch films? Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. (laughs) Dark. Yeah. (laughs) Sir Anthony Hopkins. Do you know what mine is? Yeah. I I think there's two. Okay. Uh, There's there's Overboard, which you quite like. (laughs) You do like that, right? I I love Overboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's up there. Goldie Hawn and Kate Russell. And the other one was The Stone. No. Something stone. Romancing the stone. No. True romance. That's it. Close. Got romance. True Yours romance. is gladiator. Yeah, probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is um, Rio's favourite meal? Oh, this is a hard one. Is it um, just Caribbean food? Brown stew chicken, mac and cheese. Yeah. Rice and peas. Yeah. Really? Mm, Coleslaw. Oh, I love that. That's me over. I'm game. Comatose yeah. on the sofa after that. Oh, that sounds that sound nice. I want that now. <laughs> I do. I do. You're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <funny. laughs> What's Kate's favourite meal? She fluctuates, I think. It will be chicken and raw spinach with onions and my, my loads and loads of mayo. Mm. <laughs> I know. Mm. That's... A- <laughs> Raw spinach. Oh, You're an animal. <laughs> She's a beaver. Beaver. A beaver. At the moment, I'm trying to eat healthy and all I eat is raw spinach and really? chicken. Really? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's not my favourite meal ever. I just, you oh, know, I'm um, just it. Wait, wait. One of her favourite meals is from the Good Earth, Chinese. Yeah, that's my favourite Chinese, the yeah, Good that Earth. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, yeah, we got one near us. They never you? fucking yeah. do dim sum. Hold on, so you got one near you as well? Yeah. Like in London, no, in London, London. Yeah. When I was pregnant, yeah. and I all I fancied was a Chinese. Like I, I love this Chinese. We're hosp- We're in the hospital near there, and Rio 
I had a C-section and I couldn't eat and he ordered my favourite Chinese and he ate it in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And I was just, I was wrecked and he was just munching it in front of me. Oh, I did that one. I did a similar did thing. I did the same thing. Did you? The nun knows. Come to the room, I'm like, I thought you eight me with centimetres. You. <laughs> nil by mouse. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like that. You okay, babe? The big Nando's wrap with halloumi all dripping down his face. I was so upset. <clears throat> Give me a Lucasade sweet to suck on. <laughs> suck on that. Your favourite meal? Well, I don't even know. I think it'd be meal. an Indian. That'd be up there, yeah. I think. I don't know. What's mine? I'd say if you just have to have one, I think it'd be a roast dinner. But it'd be a Toby Carvery roast dinner, <laughs> Toby like a shit Carvery. one, like, like not like a not like a red wine Jew. I, don't, I hate yeah, yeah, yeah. a red wine Jew. A proper, yeah, a proper gravy, proper you know, gravy. like a yeah. gravy, gravy, Bisto, 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 yeah. Bisto, yeah. I make the best gravy. We should have a cook-off roast. We should. You come yeah. to ours one weekend. We come to we yours. We should. Because my potatoes are up there. Are... Oh, oh, I know. Yeah, I, go, I reckon, I... Uh, roast is up there for me. Is as it well. really? I'll bring yeah. the gravy. You can be... <laughs> I'll make everything else. Hang on a minute. It's not a fair deal. <laughs> what shoe size is Kate? Six and a half. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. God, is that big? No, I'm, well, I'm bigger than you, but I, I thought you'd be smaller than that. I thought you were going to say, you looked down at my feet then, I thought they would be bigger. tiny. And canoes, isn't it? <laughs> um, you're an 11 and a half. Yeah. I thought that would be, I uh, thought that would be harder than it was. Do you know why? Because recently he's bought me the wrong, he's tried to get me a present and they're the wrong size and I've been saying to him, I'm a six and a half. Mm. That's he why bought me a size nine pair of trainers. <laughs> <laughs> nine. I'm like, I'm not fucking Pete Burns. <laughs> I'm a seven. Did you, you know that? I did know that. You do know that now. That was, you say seven, seven and <laughs> <laughs> My big toes, like a size four. <laughs> All right, favourite alcoholic drink? You forget first. When I first met her, it was Whispering Angel, Whispering Angel Rosé wine, and then it went on to vodka, lemonade and lime. Yeah. Yours Ooh. has changed recently. Yeah, mine's. Yours, when we go out, I say you're straight tequila at the moment. Yeah. Oh, straight tequila. Yeah. I've, seen the, bottle, I've like... seen the bottle in there that you've got. I like. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Or yeah. oh, you like, uh, is it brandy? Yeah. Yeah. Straight. I like neat, like... Do you? Just with on, our, on ice. I suppose it's just not all that kind of. You're not drinking you know what all it shit, is? are you? It the is, volume. It, it, it's, it's the volume. The amount of times you have to go to the toilet on a night mm. out, or if you're going I, out for a bit of food and that. Men are obsessed with like going for a wee, aren't they? No, I don't want to go to toilet. Like, yeah, if I yeah. drink loads of beer, I end up going to the toilet loads. Yeah, but then do you not think you drink more because it's so short the drink? That would be my problem. Yeah, I'd have the same it. volume. He drinks like one complete. bottle, of, a whole bottle of Bailey, <laughs> just like yeah, that's it. Well, yeah, well, I can. just always need to be drinking on a night out, yeah, always. So like, sipping, sipping all the time. Like, otherwise, I'm like, what, what am I doing? What's I'll your favourite beer? I like a Guinness. Do you um, have a lager, no? Peroni. Uh, I love Guinness. It's fine. Do you know mine? Your favourite drink? No, you have a, you have a, like a lime and soda, don't you? Like a vodka lime and soda, something like that? No. Never in your life? That's another one. That's another one. That's before. You like a glass of red wine? Mm. Do you? Mm. I wish you liked red wine. No, I don't like. I'm a bit younger than you. Isn't it come of age? Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> You've got 13 years on me, babe. Wow, well, that always comes up. What's the age <laughs> yeah. difference between you two? Or is it Five one? years. That's not a lot, is it? It's good. Yeah, not really. Uh, yeah, we we drink red wine together, don't we? Yeah. You like a red wine, I'd say. So, what you like, lime and soda is one of your favourite kind of like soft drinks. No. <laughs> Always have it, babe. I see you all the time ordering that lime soda all the time. Fresh lime. You say it every time we go out. Fresh lime. Fresh lime and soda. But not with vodka. But you'd like that drink. It's a bit difficult. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Agony Ab is something that we do where listeners get in touch and uh, we try and help them. I'm going to fire into there. Hey, guys, I was hoping you can help me uh, dealing with my absolute useless boyfriend. It's a common theme here. Uh, Abby, I'm hoping you can name and shame him. His name is Chris. I could deal with being the only one who tries to think of fun, romantic date ideas, creating shared calendars so he knows well in advance when we'll be meeting our friends and enjoying ourselves. So why the fuck does he think it's acceptable to go out with his bozo mates the night before? Oh, yeah. Drink, the, the, drink the pub dry of, of Guinness and then drop me like a hot potato so he can stay up till all hours watching UFC because all Paddy the Banny wannabes, when in reality they're all Paddy the Fatty. <laughs> our date is then ruined he looks and sounds awful has zero energy uh, for the scavenger hunts I've been um, weeks planning and getting excited for 
the sad thing is uh, I'm not in su surprised uh, at this point or annoyed anymore. I let myself go, uh, get my hopes up. Have oh. you got any ideas on how to make this uh, make his life a misery and get my own back? I just fuck Anna. him off. Fuck him off. Fuck him off. Fuck him off. <laughs> that's, that's mainly been the, the that's advice. That's my answer to every yeah. We planned to go to Soho Farmhouse the other night, uh, the other week, and I planned everything for me, Pete, and the kids. And then he comes in at like two in the morning and then doesn't want to go and all is like dying the whole day. Just ruins the whole weekend. You've done that on several occasions. So I feel her pain. It's not good. And I say, please don't do that. Just the night before we've got plans. But yeah. I'm not gallivanting till all hours. I'm just at the golf club. But I do have a lot of drink to drink. <laughs> and, and I do, yeah, I do I get that. And then he brings all his friends back, gets me out of bed and makes me make them all food. Oh, so you do make That's food. That's not true. Yeah. <laughs> Any advice here? How would you feel about oh, that this? That would really make me angry uh, because I feel like you don't do that, do you? We don't. We don't. We haven't really got a life. We don't really go out, do mm. we? At the moment, we've got, our kids are all of funny ages, so I wouldn't be happy with that. Um, I think you've just got to put him up on it. Mm. And if he does it again, he's mm. out. Fuck yeah. him off, like you Fuck said. <laughs> <laughs> he's got to put a foot down. Yeah, to get a reaction, isn't it? Yeah, mm. I, don't, I don't. If he's happening a lot, I think you know, once a month, twenty four hours. <laughs> It's just how you feel the next day when you've got plans. Yeah, no, I get that. So you if wouldn't I, even ride the horse with me. If I'm, uh, no, I'm not too riding. hungover. Do you ride horses? No. I do. do I look like I ride horses. <laughs> I was going to say, I'd love to have seen that. <laughs> you, I mean, I've, heard this before, I've said this before as well, but Frank Skinner said something on the radio like, going into a tackle with me would be someone, like, someone throwing a bicycle at you. You know, because all, all sharp. So like when I sharp. when I get on a horse, I think the horse looks at me and goes, no, there's no way. <laughs> Why is there a bike on the back? That thing is not getting on me. All right, let's move on. Uh, hi there, love listeners to podcast. Make Tuesdays entertaining. Please keep me anonymous. Uh, I've recently started a new job. I get on well with, uh, with everyone. However, there's one girl who I want to get on with extra well, if you know what I mean. She's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen um, and has the personality to match. Oh. And she's been one of my new colleagues. This has helped me settle in extra well. I am a lad who is low on confidence in speaking to new people, especially ones who uh, I want to date. I struggle picking up on signals from women, so I'd like your advice on how I could possibly boost my confidence and maybe know if she's keen on going on a date with me without outright asking. Oh. How could he boost his confidence to... It's going to be awkward. Because he's got to work with her. What if it goes wrong? That's the problem. I think win her over in a different way. You know, like, make her laugh. Make her laugh, uh, like a compliment. Yeah, no, I like that. That's good. Girl's like a confident man. So if he's going to be shy, she's not, she's not going to be... He's got to find out what she likes, isn't it? Mm. And then work it around that. Does she like football? We'll go and watch a game together. <laughs> mm. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to come to a football game? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah, don't, yeah. Do kick -ups. Let's do kick-ups. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard though to, if you do like someone to make that initial step sometimes the circumstances dictate what you, how and what you say but if you're working every day it's hard to go and yeah. generate something new and different mm. when you're doing the norm every day mm. isn't it? Mm. you could just put a bit of Drake on in the <laughs> <laughs> you're out of order <laughs> or lie about getting Drake on <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Bit of hotline bling. Uh, <laughs> I love that song. With him, I think he's just got to, he's got to kind of go, go for it. Because what, what I will say, if you don't go for it, you're going to regret it. You know, they, they, he's absolutely gonna, never going to get with her if he doesn't try. Mm. So, you know, so he'll be disappointed. Whereas if she does knock him back, he'll be disappointed. But at least he's had a go. He's yeah. got to find the confidence to take a no. And it, if you're going to get a no, just let's, you've got to wash it off. Isn't it? Exactly right. Yeah. Be prepared for a no. And if you get a yes, you're over the moon. Mm. Hi, Abby and Pete. I love the podcast. Thank you for the light relief you both give me when doing the chores around the house. I'm not normally the type of person to write into podcasts or radio shows, but last week in my whole life, a marriage was potentially rocked forever. And I need some agony ab advice on what to do. There's no easy way to put this. Even as I type it out, it's making me feel physically ill. Last weekend, my husband and I were due to go bowling with the kids and our nieces and nephews. My grown-ass husband decided that he and his cousin would go to our village real ale festival. What could go wrong? <laughs> Six hours later, I get a frantic call from my cousin-in-law telling that I needed to immediately collect him and my husband and bring a spare pair of trousers <laughs> and that he would explain when I arrived. Oh, God. 
I rather foolishly just expected there had been some spillage and he just wanted a new pair of trousers prior to our bowling trip. What I was not expecting was my train wreck, paralytic husband to be holed up in the toilet, unable to string a sentence together and covered in his own shit. (laughs) Literally, he had gotten so drunk that he took a gamble on a... Art, and it backfired spectacularly. Oh, no way. I then spent the next 20 minutes trying to essentially change an adult nappy and clean it and do a clean up oh. job, which, as you can imagine, resulted in an eye watering, aggressive gagging and balking my end. I'm also oh. not normally one to air my dirty laundry, laundry, but in this instance, I'm more than happy to air my husband's when he forces me to put a newspaper down on my new Prius upholstery in case of a repeat. I know this might sound funny to the casual viewer, but I'm genuinely repulsed by my own husband. And every time I hear his pair derriere coming out of the shower, I am immediately having breakdown flashbacks. What do you think is a fair punishment for him? Punishment for him? Is there there any way back after that? If you had to clean me up, I'd have to shit myself. (laughs) Oh, I can't even think about it. Could we romantically still be involved? No. I'd say no. I don't I mean, like. I don't want to do that. Like obviously, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I wouldn't write you off forever. No. But you can't. You can't keep doing it. <laughs> we, we... <laughs> that is unbelievable advice, isn't it? That is that is profound. He <laughs> just long. needs to stop drinking so much. Mm. Yeah. We can't even talk about that word. Same. Yeah, we don't. We don't. We... I don't. Kate has never farted in her life. <laughs> Me neither. No, no, absolutely. She doesn't even so go similar. for number two. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah, same, yeah. We are the same person. Yeah, yeah. we are, aren't we? I, I actually, we go on holidays, yeah, obviously, and we have a room and that. I know there's a loads and loads and loads of people that are doing late night shifts that have seen me walking around hotels in the middle of the night looking for a disabled toilet or just a spare toilet <laughs> to go to the number two because I refuse no. to do it in the same room. Really? Oh, mate, I've got a pro- serious We've issue. Got I've got a serious yeah. issue. So have you, Ross, haven't you? Oh, Ross vomits for anything to do, to do with poo or anything. Is it? Oh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. I can't. No way. If she farted in front of me, I swear, Dan, it's, it could be over. Like, <laughs> romantically. I agree with that. <laughs> it could be over apps like that as well. I agree. Do you, do you openly fart? Um, no, he doesn't. No, not really. Like, I try and I try and keep it... Um... <laughs> so this has gone left a little <laughs> <Yeah>. bit. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. I'm just comfortable now. Yeah. One of my mates is actually... They had a house built, and I can't name him because you know who he is, but that he was saying that they've got two toilets, which they call thrones, alongside each other in a toilet. That, well, they did together. They're, they're that comfortable. Not posh and bags, is it? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what happened to them thrones. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's horrendous, that, isn't it? All right, listen, guys, thank you so much for for coming on. No, thank really you. enjoyed it today. No, it's been good. Uh, you know, hopefully uh, we're looking forward to the new project that we're not allowed to talk to. Talk You'll about. be on it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I look forward to that. <laughs> no, because I'm still really embarrassed that I haven't brought any, got it sorted any lunch. Mm. Yeah. So. They're not coming here again. You should be, actually. <laughs> yeah. we'll, we'll cook for you when you come to us. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Absolute pleasure to have you on and, uh, you know, Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you.